I think this is the military storage area Hubert told me about. Let's look around. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Filters. Never gonna have enough of these. I'm sure Dodger can use them. Looks like I struck gold, a bottle of risen glory cognac, and some cigars. 
Hmm. Cubans, the box says. Looks like I got everything of value. Time to head out of here.
Inhibitor container detected. Wow, you made it. Did you find the stash? Sure did. Thanks for the lockpicks. But what are you still doing here? Is this him? Sure is. Was kind enough to get the goods for us. Saved us a lot of trouble. Very good. So, where did you find out about this? A little bird? Was it to you? Was it a little bird? Met a broken leg? How would you know? Because I broke it. Why'd you attack him? Huber was planning to take the goods for himself. Tell Dodger he didn't find anything. Needed our help to pull it off. But we didn't know why we needed half assed Hubi. And now we don't need you. So, give them to us. Three against one? I like those odds. Count again. I counted. Five corpses. Kill him and take the goods. Didn't see that coming. Let's show him who it is! Get 
The elemental gods are punishing us. One day, paradise. Oh, shut it. Waiting on paradise. Pathetic. <laughs> How's the leg? Uh, no better. But it'll heal. Eventually. Oh, fantastic. Something wrong? I had a chance to meet the bandits you mentioned before. They said that you'd plan on cheating Dodger after all. Okay. The cat's out of the bag. But look, it was only gonna be just this once. Dodger would never find out. Why would you steal from a man who's giving you work? 
Look, I'm living by the skin of my teeth here. I thought just this once I'd pretend he gave me a bum lead and take the whole stash. Maybe get a little ahead for once. And the bandits? I figured an ambush would sell the story better. Didn't expect them to turn on me. But then, I'm an idiot, aren't I? Seems like it. Trusting a group of thugs like them? That's what you get for being greedy. I wasn't being greedy. Just... Just desperate. Now I got a busted leg and don't know when I can work again. What happened to them anyway? Now they tried to kill me, but didn't. Whew. Uh, and, and the goods? Did you reach them? I got everything. I'm begging you, don't tell Dodger. If you do, you'll ruin me. Please, t take what you have to him. Tell him I'll be back in business as soon as my leg heals. Why'd you even get mixed up with low lives like that? Seemed reasonable enough at first. Uh, you're interested in helping for a small cut. Then they show up with this psycho, Klaus. Damn it. I'm such an idiot. I, I, I brought this all on myself. Don't tell Dodger, please. I'll think it over. Come on, man. Without work, I'll starve. I, I won't even think about doing it again. I, I swear. Don't make me laugh. Think I'd take your word for anything after this? Believe me, I, I learned my lesson. I'll never do anything like that again. We'll see. Gathered here 
What you got for me? I found these filters for one. Mm, okay, I'm not setting my world on fire, but I can move those for a nice profit. How about these? A bottle of cognac and a box of cigars. Now that's what I'm talking about. You see? I knew there'd be something valuable at that military base. You see that, Urban? Can I sniff out the good shit or what? <laughs> Kick ass. Uh, speaking of asses, what was Hubie's deal? Is he trying to duck out on me? Hubert was gonna steal from you. You fucking what? I was gonna say you'd given him a bum lead and take the goods for himself. Hired a gang to make the story more believable, but they turned on him. They broke his leg. You don't say. <laughs> You're one cold bastard. I like you. <laughs> what? And half-assed Hubie. Well, you know what they say. Trust in God. But break your camel's legs, just in case. Couldn't hug. What? Hey, this psycho works for you? Well, two solutions are better than one. You wanted to kill me? No, who said anything about killing? I just told Klaus to get the loot. He can be a little overeager at times. You jackass! Oh, come on, don't pout. Look at Klaus. He's not mad about you killing his friends. It's natural selection. You proved yourself stronger than them. You came in handy after all. I didn't know how to get to Hubi, but then you showed up. I waited until you were gone, and paid him a visit. What did you do to him? He was in terrible pain because of that broken leg. So I broke the other one. For balance. That's what happens when you try to screw Dodger. I guess, but isn't that a bit extreme? Well, he won't be gazelling across the rooftops anymore, but he's still got a shot at a pro arm wrestling career. But he insisted that I turn the stash over to you. So, once a cheat, always a cheat. Duralex said Lex. The times we live in are ruthless, and the law must be so too. He's already learned his lesson. He said he wouldn't do it again. Right. Any idea how many people half-assed has conned? People who are also just trying to get by. Who have families to feed. He's been asking for trouble for a long time. He got what he deserved. And he won't scam anyone ever again. Remember, rules are rules. With the whole world collapsing, we need them more than ever. Without them, we'd be no better than a pack of rats. Did you call this following the rules? Your rules? He won't get away with this. Carl will hear the whole story. Carl? He won't dare touch me. I know too much about him. I know too much about everyone. Even Lucas respected me. Who do you think is behind his death? Barney? Sophie? <laughs> Barney and Sophie are just a pair of kids playing in a sandbox that's too big for them. On the other hand, they are really fucked up. You never know what might pop up in their heads. I know one thing, though. Curiosity killed the cat. Thanks for your concern, but I don't need it. Feisty, I like it. I saw the potential in you from the start. But I had to figure out who I'm really dealing with. And how did I do? You're something else. 
Remind me not to turn my back to you or... I might get stabbed, but you've still a lot to learn, boy. You think too much. This is no world for a saint. A martyr, maybe. If you get yourself killed. At least I'll have a clear conscience. Clear conscience? Wunderbar. <laughs> no one has a clear conscience here. And since you are still alive, neither do you, right? What have you been getting up to, Pilgrim? What are you running from? Next time, find yourself another Patsy. Feisty, I like it. We'll meet again, Aiden.
someday. Hey, Hankel, I'm at the monument. You were right. Not much left of it. Good. Look closely. There is much more to it than meets the eye. Shots were fired. The army started shooting at people. Panic broke out. And of course, things only got worse. The riots escalated. It was the beginning of the end. Ah, there's a plaque here. Oof, a lot of names on it. Are those the victims of a massacre? Yes, 64 names. Things were starting to get pretty bad outside the walls around then. And the army needed more weapons. So they confiscated the civilians' weapons. Private ownership of any sort of firearm and its ammunition was forbidden thereafter. here that is where the riots started people were terrified how could they protect themselves and their families there was massive unrest so a curfew was put in place and homes were raided to ensure no one was hiding any weapons 
punishment for those who didn't comply was quite severe. Light the candle. So you're saying that Pratt made a bad call, taking people's guns away? Hard to know for sure, but it didn't end well for anyone. In fact, the main irony <laughs> is that the army soon ran out of ammunition. And just like that, firearms became obsolete. At least, that's what's generally believed to have happened. Now, you'll hear some folks claim that Pratt kept a secret stash of ammunition somewhere in the city. But if so, he took that secret to the grave. So I guess we'll never really know. And that's the thing about history. We rarely ever really know. It's not a hard science. History is fragile as the passing of time. It takes the vigilance of people like myself to make sure it's not rewritten to suit the whim of each new generation's self-righteous fight. The duty of remembrance. Everyone should practice it. Farewell now, Pilgrim. I hope this little trip down memory lane has illuminated your path. Commander Lucas's murderer quickly. The mood in the bazaar is deteriorating. Man, we want to hear a peek, peg. <laughs> <laughs> 
Man, such hate for PKs. Thanks for stopping him. Folks will talk to us more. 